Hey everyone. I wanted to come today and talk to you about um, this whole situation that we have found ourselves in with this COVID-19 and superbug. Uh, we're all, you know, enclosed in our homes and we have nothing to do. And so I personally am finding the greatest opportunity to self-dive, do a huge shadow working and also developing um, my own channeling and working with um, ancestors, guides, angels, archangels, um, really developing my path. And I'm hoping you are finding blessings on your own path as well, but it's not easy. And um, today during my opening morning meditation, my guides were really talking to me and brought me back to um, when I was first developing a mediumship, I had to take a class on grief and the stages of grief. And I started thinking about it and um, really started understanding, man, we are in a grief period. We are in this transition period of, oh, I don't know what I feel like. And it seems to be going through it every single week. It's like, you know, Sunday, Monday starts and we're kind of just starting in this recycle again and recycle. And I was telling my mom the other day, it kind of feels like we're in Groundhog Day. Remember the movie Groundhog Day when, you know, Bill Murray's character is like repeating over and over and over again. And um, your days become kind of robotic. Um, so remember to find your happiness, follow your bliss, follow your happiness. Um, you know, I, I started taking a painting again that I haven't painted in like three years. And really, um, really enjoying that and creating art and you know, playing with my children, imaginative play with my children. It's been, um, this time has been a true blessing, but yet I'm still going through the emotions. And so I wanted to share with you today what spirit tells me about the stages of grief. And um, this is going to kind of put a little spiritual spin on it, but hopefully this will kind of ease your mind and make it feel a little bit better about where you are in life and um, how you're dealing with all this. So the first stage is denial. Uh, I know we all go through this. Um, I was supposed to go to um, my parents' house this um, past, this, this weekend, in fact, and, um, you know, I, I, I struggle with allergies. My son struggles with allergies every morning, especially when it's overcast. And it's been really overcast here in sun, Southern California. And so I'm just like, ooh, you know, even if I might be a carrier, I don't want to go over there and spread something just in case. So I am self barricading, truly. I was going over to my parents, but it's like, okay, you know, my parents are in their 70s. And so I got to be really mindful. But I, I was in that state of denial, like, oh man, I, I, you know, I know I'm healthy. I know my family's healthy. We're super blessed. So it's like denial. It's like, well, do we really need to do this? Mm, I don't know. And, you know, it, it took us some time to get on the bandwagon and think, okay, okay, this is real. And even, you know, on, during the weekdays, like I wake up and it's like in a denial state. It's like, is this where we're at? Really? And then denial quickly turns to anger. Okay. No matter how spiritual you are, we still have emotions. We still get uh, frustrated and angry. So yeah, that's like, ah, I don't really believe this until it's like, it hits reality and you're like, oh my gosh, this is where I'm at. And now I'm pissed off. Now I'm angry. I can't go see my parents. Great. I'm stuck here. Great. I don't want to be here. My, my, my children are going stir crazy. You know, they even, you know, the parks are, are, are blocked off. Um, we have large grassy areas, but you know, we're getting tired of playing catch. And so now we get into anger anger mode. And I see, I also see these stages going through with my children of uh, they're just like, or just angry, angry and lashing out. And, you know, it, it's very quickly where we can turn that anger into love, but we still get to the anger point. Then anger turns into bargaining. <laughs> That's the next stage of grief. Bargaining, bargaining. Uh, well, you know, okay. All right, spirit. I'm going to stay put. I'm going to stay put. But when this is all over, I want X, Y, and Z happening. And you know, bargaining's not that bad when you look at it as a spiritual point. That's manifesting. That's manifesting. You're like, okay, here we go. You know, if I, if I, if I do my self work, if I do my shadow work, man, I'm going to come out of this on fire. I'm going to come out of this even better. And if I, if, 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 okay, that's the word with bargaining that you need to pay attention to is the if. We need to change that thinking and saying, I am. 
Okay. Like instead of going, if I do the shadow work, I want this to happen. No, I am doing the shadow work and that will happen. Yes, that will happen. As soon as this is all over, this will happen. So watch your bargaining. Bargaining's not horrible, but say it, you know, that power of suggestion, the power of the mind. Say it as it's already happened. I am, I am, I am, I am statements. That is the stage of bargaining. Then we go into depression. Um, you know, you don't feel like you want to get out of bed. You just want to watch TV all day. Um, how to get out of that depression stage is to take action and to get out of bed. And, um, you know, a lot of us are finding comfort in food. I know like every single one of my friends right now is like, oh man, I think it's like the quarantine 20, you know, like the freshman 10. No, this is like the quarantine 20. We're putting on 20 pounds because that's all we're doing. We're finding comfort in food. So remember, eat what you want, eat healthy, especially, oh man, just changing a simple thing of instead of grabbing the potato chips, grab a fresh fruit. Um, the, the shelves, the grocery stores are just stocked with all this fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, we're super lucky by us. Um, we have a, um, a, a farm or orchard stand and they're still open and they still have fresh vegetables and fruits. So take in that high vibrational frequency. That will help, help you get out of depression. That will lift you out. But if you still find yourself kind of like, because I mean, here in Southern California, it's been dreary, it's been raining. Man, this, I can't remember when this rain has lasted for this long. And on a side note of that, I actually spoke with Gaia and um, was talking with her and it's like, the rain is healing. The rain is washing stuff away. It is reshifting. It is, um, you know, when you have a flesh wound, you flush it out, flush it out. And that's what the rain is doing right now. It's really flushing out all the emotions, all the darkness, all the everything. So see the rain, if you have rain by you as a healing thing, though our emotions, you know, um, the, the sad syndrome where um, it's seasonal depression, when it's, when it's gloomy outside, our brains go to gloomy as well. So take notice that. Be aware, yeah, I'm in a shitty mood, yeah. You know, I, I don't feel good. Okay, cool. How am I going to get myself out of that? Go and find your happiness. Go and do what makes you happy. And that's why I kind of got off on that food kick. If you go and, you know, you have a low vibrational food, heal it, send it love, send those potato chips love, send it energy and say, yeah, I'm going to eat a couple of you, but I'm going to blast you with love. So it feels good inside me. Um, can we do this all the time? No, because our body does need water, fresh fruits and vegetables you know, things that come from Gaia in order to uh, embrace our spiritual journey. Um, I have a whole YouTube video on that that I will post in the links below of um, five steps of how you can hear your spirit team clear. Um, it's a great video. Um, I did it a while ago. Like I watch it now. I'm like, oh my God, I look so young. <laughs> but it's still those, those techniques and tips still apply today and they will always apply. If you want to hear your spirit team clear, check out my video on five tips of how to hear spirit clear and I will post it in the link. So the final stage of grief after we um, go through the depression and we're like, okay, is the acceptance phase. Yeah, we're in this, but we're all in this together. It's a collective. That is the acceptance. That is hopefully the stage that you get to by the end of the week, by the end of the day, it's like, oh, well, I got through another day. I'm accepting that. I'm accepting our situation. I'm accepting where we are. I am reaping the benefits of being home and being here and uh, doing that self work and the shadow work and the inner child work. I mean, this is a prime opportunity to do all that. Listen to YouTube videos, um, seek out a healer like myself or many of the healers and intuitives that are around you. Get a reading, get guidance, create action steps in order to get you out of the five stages of grief that we keep finding ourselves in. And it's all normal, it's all natural. We're all going through this. We're all in this together. And I hope that you find your own acceptance in this process. And again, my name is Krista Marie Miller. Uh, I'm an intuitive medium and voice channeler. My website is kristamariemiller.com. Um, and you can book your one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. 
um, I would love to help you on your guidance and your journey through this um, mayhem that we are in and the mental clarity and help you gain mental clarity on what your next steps are. Blessings. I hope you have a great day.